Now, this is one of the more frightening moments of the chase. A state trooper being hit by the speeding car as he jumps out of the way after putting down stop sticks on A470 near Chambers. 7 News reporter Lance Hernandez is outside Littleton Adventist Hospital where that trooper is now out of surgery. Lance. And Trooper Bellaman, he suffered a serious leg injury after he was struck by a van driven by that fleeing suspect. Now, he is out of surgery here at Littleton Adventist Hospital. We are told he is expected to make a full recovery. And it's amazing, Ann, when you think about it and you look at that video, you can't help but wonder, had that trooper been one second slower, his injuries might have been much more severe. They observed the car coming at a high rate of speed. From Air Tracker 7, you see the suspect barreling down E-470, approaching chambers. And their plan was to deploy stop sticks in this location. Trooper Bellaman, he, an eight-year veteran of the patrol, placed stop sticks on the pavement and was running toward the guardrail just as the suspect veered onto the shoulder and struck him. Down, he got hit. Location. From Air Tracker 7, you can see the trooper get hit in the leg a second sooner, and he would likely have been run over by the van or tossed several hundred feet. Yeah, I know this trooper worked. Trooper Nate Reed says Trooper He has been with the state patrol since 2005. He is currently a child passenger safety technician. We talked with him last November during CSP's Thanksgiving DUI patrol. Statewide, we have 83. Uh, enforcement agencies. He talked about officers getting hit by drunk drivers. It is definitely a reminder for us to be on our toes. Trooper Bellaman, he's still in serious but stable condition here at Littleton Adventist Hospital following surgery on his leg. I asked if any family members uh, felt comfortable talking to the news media about what happened to him. They don't at this point, but they extend their thanks for the well wishes. Reporting live in Littleton, Lance Hernandez, 7 News.